Ice Age giants, rulers of a world long past, these colossal creatures surpass your wildest imagination. These immense animals, larger than you can imagine, dominated landscapes during a time of dramatic climatic shifts. From towering herbivores that shaped their habitats to fearsome predators that commanded the food chain, these giants held a remarkable place in Earth's history. Through meticulous study of ancient remains, we glimpse a reality far removed from today. As we explore the stories of these Ice Age behemoths, we uncover the astonishing diversity of life that once reigned, leaving an enduring legacy in the annals of our planet's chronicles. Mammoth and Mastodon The woolly mammoth, scientifically known as Mammothus primigenius, stands as one of the most iconic examples of Ice Age megafauna that once roamed the northern expanses of North America. Its colossal statue, reaching 12 feet in height at the shoulders and weighing between 6 to 8 tons, is matched by its distinctive 15-foot curved tusks. These impressive features were utilized not only for digging through snow to access food, but also for self-defense against predators. However, the annals of paleontological research unveil a more diverse picture of the ancient North American landscape, revealing the existence of at least four distinct species of massive elephant-like creatures during the late Pleistocene epoch. Among these majestic beasts was the American Mastodon, Mammut Americanum, which holds the status of the most ancient of North American elephantine inhabitants. Its lineage stretches back around 15 million years when ancestral populations traversed the Bering Strait from Asia. Over the course of evolution, approximately 3.5 million years ago, the American Mastodon emerged. Differing from later mammoths, Mastodons exhibited a stockier build and shorter stature. Remarkably, the shape of their teeth offered clues to their dietary preferences, suggesting a tendency to tear off leaves and even entire tree branches instead of grazing on grass, a hallmark of mammoth behavior. In contrast, mammoths made their entry into the North American landscape much later, arriving in two waves around 1.5 million years ago. A notable member of this migration was the mammoth Meridianalis, which embarked on the Bering Land Bridge journey, subsequently diverging into two distinctive species, the relatively hairless Columbian mammoth and the Jeffersonian mammoth. The pinnacle of these elephantine inhabitants arrived approximately 500,000 years ago in the form of the woolly mammoth. These resilient creatures thrived across Ice Age North America, spanning territories from Canada down to Honduras. However, the entire cadre of mammoths and mastodons met their fate in the great megafauna extinction event some 10,000 years ago. Archaeological discoveries continue to shed light on these magnificent creatures, revealing remnants of mammoth populations that persisted in Arctic islands as recently as 4,500 years ago, a time contemporaneous with the construction of the Egyptian pyramids. Dire Wolf The dire wolf, known by its menacing Latin name, Canis Dirus, which translates to terrible wolf, evokes an aura of fear and mystery. Despite its striking resemblance to modern wolves in terms of size, reaching similar heights and lengths, DNA analysis has unveiled surprising revelations. It appears that the dire wolf, with its fearsome moniker, was not genetically closely related to the gray wolf. Instead, it was a distant kin of modern jackals, a fascinating twist in the canine family tree. These formidable creatures, the dire wolves, held dominion over every corner of North America. They ranged from the frigid expanses of the Canadian North to the sun-drenched landscapes of Mexico. Their adaptability was truly remarkable, enabling them to thrive in diverse ecosystems, including boreal forests, expansive grassland plains, and lush tropical wetlands. Much like their gray wolf counterparts, dire wolves were highly social animals that organized themselves into formidable packs, often comprising 30 or more individuals. Their cooperative hunting strategies allowed them to take down imposing prey, including mammoths, colossal giant sloths, and Ice Age horses. Giant Ground Sloth Giant Ground Sloth, a formidable land dweller, rivaled even the Paraceratherium in size and might. This colossal creature, extending up to 20 feet in length and tipping the scales at a staggering 9,000 pounds, wandered through the woodlands and grassy expanses of South America a mere 10,000 years ago. Its sustenance hinged on a diet of grasses, shrubs, and leaves. However, its fate intertwined with the ascent of humanity, leading to its eventual demise due to hunting pressures. Humanity's emergence coincided with the era of the ground sloth, and unfortunately, this creature bore the brunt of our presence. Descending from North America, early humans likely hunted these massive sloths to extinction. The ground sloth's susceptibility to human predation lay in its lack of prior encounters with such predators. This dearth of experience rendered them vulnerable and, in essence, easy targets for prehistoric hunters. Giant Otter 
giant otter, known by its scientific name Siamagali melilutra, inhabited Asia approximately 6 million years ago. These otters were comparable in size to wolves, boasting a weight of up to 110 pounds, a remarkable magnitude twice that of their modern-day counterparts. In 2017, American paleontologists conducted excavations within an ancient lake bed nestled in China's Yunnan province, unveiling a treasure trove of remains, a complete skull, jawbone, and teeth. The dental record painted a vivid dietary portrait of these furry denizens. Their menu primarily featured oversized shellfish and mollusks, a menu choice facilitated by their robust jaw structure capable of exerting substantial force to crack open these well-protected prey. Curiously, the question of their prodigious size lingers as a perplexing enigma. Typically, animal dimensions expand as a means to overpower their quarry. However, the giant otter defies this trend as it subsisted on diminutive prey like mollusks, which inherently did not necessitate overpowering in a physical sense. Intriguingly, the motive behind the giant otter's magnified proportions remains a puzzle. While it deviates from the norm of size-to-prey dynamics, its sheer bulk could have served other purposes, such as competition with rivals or adaptation to a unique ecological niche, saber-toothed cats. Saber-toothed cats, iconic denizens of Ice Age North America, have left an indelible mark on our understanding of prehistoric fauna. Fossilized remains, notably those retrieved from the La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles, have unveiled a fearsome predator armed with upper canines averaging seven inches in length. Their remarkable jaw articulation allowed an astonishing 130-degree gape. These enigmatic creatures, despite their association with modern tigers and other felines, deviate fundamentally from their living counterparts. Their physique diverged notably from today's lions and tigers, standing a foot shorter than adult lions yet outweighing them by almost double, with some specimens tipping the scales at over 600 pounds. Markedly shorter legs and a truncated tail design indicated their adaptation for ambush tactics rather than protracted chases. While the saber-toothed cats occupy a prominent place in our perception of Pleistocene predators, they weren't the sole large feline hunters of the era. Another formidable contender, the scimitar cat, traversed the landscapes of North America with its distinctive four-inch canines. This predator possessed a physique akin to that of a contemporary African lion, characterized by elongated front legs ideal for overpowering substantial prey. An adult scimitar cat's prowess was evident in its capacity to subdue even young mammoths, swiftly dragging them back to its lair. Deodon. Deodon, akin to the fearsome megalodon, evokes a formidable sense of apprehension. These colossal behemoths, resembling towering brawny pigs, once dominated North America's landscape some 20 million years ago. Standing at an impressive six feet in height at the shoulder and boasting a weight reaching thousands of pounds, they earned their place as titanic figures of their era. The vivid imagery surrounding them is encapsulated in monikers such as Hell Pig and Terminator Pig. Within the web of life, Deodons occupied a commanding position, exemplified by their family's monikers. Their fossilized teeth unveil a diverse palette, indicative of omnivorous habits encompassing both animals, some as large as contemporary cows, and plant matter. These creatures likely played the role of carrion scavengers, adept at trailing other predators in order to pilfer their hard-won kills. Their impressive olfactory capabilities likely guided them towards potential meals, forming a crucial aspect of their survival toolkit. Megalania Megalania, scientifically labeled Varanus priscus, earned its title Ancient Great Roamer as a massive carnivorous goanna. This formidable predator, potentially reaching up to 23 feet in length and surpassing 4,000 pounds in weight, once prowled the grasslands, open forests, and woodlands of eastern Australia during the Pleistocene era. Its diet encompassed medium and large creatures like mammals, snakes, birds, and fellow lizards. Equipped with serrated blade-like teeth, Megalania efficiently consumed its prey. Interestingly, this behemoth may have been venomous, potentially making it the most substantial venomous vertebrate known.